Welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today, I'm bringing you my favorite cleaning tools and products. These are the things that I reach for every time I clean. So I'm gonna show you these products up close and then I'm gonna take you around my home to show you how I use them. All right, so let's go ahead and start with my floors. This is my E-Cloth Deep Clean Mop. When I need a quick clean, I pull out this easy to use mop. First of all, it strips grease, grime, dirt, and 99% of bacteria from all types of hard flooring, which includes wood, tile, and laminate. And it does all this with just using water. Now I have two, one I've marked with bathroom only. That's just my preference, but these pads can be washed in the washer and dryer after each use. It has a lightweight aluminum handle that extends up to five feet. It has this quick grip hook and loop fastener, which makes it easy to put the mop head on and off. And like I said, I just toss it straight into the laundry to clean it. I like that I don't have to pull out anything more than this pad and the mop handle to do a quick clean of my floors. I quickly run the mop pad under some warm water. I get it nice and wet, and then I just squeeze out whatever leftover water's in there. It really does hold a large amount of water, so there's no need to worry about um, having it drenching wet. You'll see that I'm using a spray bottle, but that's due to the finish of my floors. As you can see, my floors are matte and they require a little bit more water than a normal glazed floor does. I consider this to be a maintenance tool because I use this a couple of times a week to help maintain my clean floors. But I will be showing you here in just a second a new tool that I use on a daily basis that helps to maintain my clean floors. But first, I want to share with you the spin mop. Now, we all know about the spin mop and what a great job that it does. Now, I use this um, once a week during my power hour to do a deep clean of my floors. I really like the spin mop because you can take the head off of it and just throw it in the wash. Um, it also does a really deep clean if you wanted to um, flip it on its side you can really deep clean your baseboards with it I've seen people clean their walls with it I've seen people um, clean their shower um, tile if it goes real high you can clean your shower tile with it um, so it can be used in all different ways but what I really like about it is that you can take that head off of it and give it a good wash okay so I'll admit it I have been holding out on y'all while I've been testing this product for the last three weeks. If you've been here a while, then you know why I just might be a little bit excited to open this box and set it up. We all know that I strive to not only have clean floors, but I also strive to find a routine to help maintain my clean floors. And y'all, this guy may be the answer. This is the Yeedy Mop Pro Station. This one machine takes care of all my daily floor maintenance. Now, I reached out to Yiddy and I let them know that I have the perfect floors to review their product. I have pets, grandkids, and a pool. And as I mentioned before, I have a matte finished floor, so mop pads dry out real quickly when I use them. I can't even use a steam mop comfortably because the pad won't glide easily. Now, Yiddy said that they were up for the challenge and would send me the Mop Pro Station for an honest review. I filmed all this footage three weeks ago. I wanted to give you an honest review and I felt like only time would tell and Yiddy allowed me the time to do that. So let me show you how this works. This part of the machine holds the clean and the dirty water tanks. There's enough water to do my whole home, but again, I have matte floors and they require a lot more water than glazed tile do. Now, the app also has a setting to use more or less water. I have mine set to max. The Yeedy comes with two sets of mop pads. This set I've been using for the last three weeks. The machine cleans and dries them after each use, so it's maintaining those pads for me. After you've set up your app, which is honestly almost as easy as just pointing your phone to this QR code, it will tell you what to do from there. 
Then Yidi will take off and it's going to map your whole house. I just left him alone and he did all the work by himself. Now, once it was mapped, I set up my map with no zones. These are the areas that I don't want Yidi to vacuum or mop. I moved my older robot vacuum into my master bedroom, so I don't need Yidi to go in there. Yidi is smart and will only vacuum carpets and vacuum and mop the tile. Now, I can also set up no-go zones to keep him where I want him. So I'm gonna set up a no-go zone in an area that I'm gonna have the Christmas tree that way he won't go over by the Christmas tree. You just heard the water cleaning those pads and now Yidi's gonna take off and start mopping. So Yidi is not only mopping, it's also vacuuming at the same time. Or you can have it just vacuum only. I have it set up to vacuum every morning and then I mop a couple of times a week. Okay, so let me get down here and I'm gonna show you how this works. These rotating pads do a great job at scrubbing the tiles. As you can see with this white cloth, everything that's left behind is completely clean. It's always going back to the station and cleaning those pads, so I'm not getting dirty water on my floor as it's mopping. Once Yidi is finished with your floors, it will dock and the pads will thoroughly be washed and dried. I then take the wastewater bucket and I dump it. Now just look how dirty this is. You see how much it picks up off of my floor? You can just see all the stuff at the bottom of that container. This machine really is amazing. This is the larger dustbin that I use when I just want to vacuum the floors. I also like that I can set it to have extra strong suction when it goes onto the carpets. So as you know, when I bring in new products into my home, especially one that costs a bit of money, I put that new product on a maintenance schedule of its own. Well, Yidi has thought about that and it's done it on its own. That shows me that this company really cares about its product. I want to thank Yidi for sponsoring this portion of my video and I also want to thank them for standing up to the challenge of my challenging floors. And Yidi is offering my subscribers a discount for Black Friday. I'll leave all the details down in my description box. Okay, so we're back to my e-cloths and this is the one that I use for my windows and glass. There is 100% no better shine. This waffle weave cloth is the one that you get wet and it does a great job at helping to scrub the surface without scratching it. And the smooth weave is the polishing cloth and it leaves the glass streak free. I have two sets. I like to keep a set in my bathrooms to use daily to maintain my mirrors. Now once I use them, I just hang them over the tub to dry. I also really love to use these on my sliders. It removes sticky handprints from my grandkids that leave those sticky little fingerprints all over my windows. And it just keeps everything nice and streak free. Now e-cloth comes with a one year, 100 wash promise. Okay, so this is Dawn Power Wash. This one product can clean every surface in my kitchen, but I also like Dawn Power Wash in my bathroom. For months, I've been looking for a product to help clean my bathtub. Now, I soak in this tub every single night with Epsom salts, and I also like to exfoliate in here. And all that stuff can get sticky on the sides of the tub. So I appreciate that Dawn Power Wash clings to the sides of the tub, and when I allow it to sit for a few minutes, it does the majority of the work for me. Thank you. 
The tool that you see me using to clean with is another product that I like to use here in my bathroom. It has a variety of different brush heads that I can use to reach multiple areas. It has a movable head to angle in different directions to also help you reach in different areas. The handle can be disconnected to make it shorter. And once it's charged, the battery life is great. Okay, so now let's take the Dawn Power Wash into the kitchen. Like I said, it's capable to clean many areas in this kitchen. Now, when I have a really tough to clean dish, I go ahead and spray it with a little bit of this spray wash, and then I just stick it right into the dishwasher. Now, you wouldn't want to do this with every dish and end up with a bunch of suds in your dishwasher, but a dish or two really isn't going to hurt your dishwasher. I also use it nightly to clean my sink. Like I said, I like that when I spray it, it clings to the side of the sink. I'll go ahead and spray it and then I leave it there for just a little bit while I work on some other things and then I'll come back and I'll clean it. While that sits, let's go ahead and spray some on my stove top. It really helps to lift up any grease and grime. Now I'm using the soft part of my scrub mommy to clean. Then I'll go ahead and I'll use a wet cloth and I'll wipe everything off. Then when I'm done, I like to use my Weinman stainless steel wipes to condition the stainless steel. Now I prefer the wipes over the spray because I find that each wipe has just enough product on it without leaving a greasy film all over my stainless steel. So once it's on, I just go back over it with a soft cloth to shine everything up. Okay, now that the power wash has had time to sit in my sink, I'm going to go ahead and use the soft part of my scrub mommy to clean. When I have some tough spots, I like to use these EXO scrub brushes. I keep them right underneath my sink for easy access. I appreciate that the heads are angled for easy use and the end of one of these has a soft silicone tool that I use. Once I rinse everything out, I see that there's a bit of a spot that needs attention from another favorite product that I use. This is Scrub Daddy's Power Paste. I use a small amount along with the Scrub Mommy that they provide with this cleaner. Now once I'm done, it's as good as new.
In my bathrooms, I like to use Clorox wipes. These kill 99% of viruses and bacteria, and I like that I can use them and just throw them away. During my morning routine, I routinely wipe down my bathroom countertops and sinks. I also use the Clorox wipes here in the toilet. Every morning, I wipe down the toilet, the seat, the toilet, behind the toilet. And here's a quick tip for you. If you don't already have one of these removable toilet seats, I would highly suggest that you go get one. I am able to keep this toilet clean because I'm able to get underneath here and get all this crud. I have little grandsons and they know how to make a big mess. So I love having these seats. Also, another thing I like is it's got soft clothes. Another product to keep the toilet clean are these handy Clorox toilet bowl cleaners. Again, I like that you can throw these things away. You're no longer housing that nasty toilet bowl brush and holder. And to help maintain clean toilets in between deep cleaning, I like to use these Clorox toilet bowl tablets. You simply drop a tablet into your toilet tank and it continuously sanitizes and deodorizes every time that the toilet flushes. Now, it helps to prevent those tough stains like from hard water, mineral deposits, and lime scale stains. Each of these tablets lasts about three months. This right here is my carpet rake. I use it to maintain the fibers of my carpets and my rugs. These soft bristles fluff them up and keeps everything looking new. When you're looking for a carpet rake, you need to be sure that it has a good metal bracket that attaches to the pole. There can be a lot of pressure on these stress points while you're doing the back and forth motion, so you wanna be sure that you have a good sturdy tool. I pull this out for my zone cleaning, and any time that I pull out my um, upright carpet cleaner, I also use this. In fact, this is the same tool that the professional carpet cleaners will use if they come and they clean your carpets. Okay, last but not least, my channel is synonymous with the Doka Pull. I have been using this product since day one of my channel, and I guarantee I'll still be using this years to come. So the Doka Pull has multiple attachments that you can purchase to accomplish tasks like dusting, changing light bulbs, even a fruit picker. It also has universal threads to accommodate a wide range of cleaning attachments. I purchased this package that includes a 30-foot extendable telescoping pole and the dusters, which are the cobweb duster, the microfiber feather duster, and the flex and stay ceiling fan duster. Okay friends, those are my top 15 cleaning products that I use for my cleaning routines. Let me know below if I showed you a product that you might be interested in. I've linked them all below if you would like to go ahead and learn more about them or go look at their reviews. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll click that red subscribe button. I'm approaching 3,000 subscribers and I would love for you to be one of them. Now I'm leaving you with this video to go see next and I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed my friends.